To the sewing proper of this beautiful underboss corset with a cage art. So, in our previous tutorial, we learned how to draft these patterns. So, in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to put this pattern together to give us that beautiful cage art you are seeing over there. So, all you have to do is to listen carefully and Wash till the end so that you won't miss any trick or tips that we used in sewing this beautiful piece. Okay, so for the center front, you will have to cut two pieces. For the side front, you will have to cut two pieces. For the side back, you will have to cut two pieces. And for the center back, you will have to cut two pieces. That is for the main bodies. And we are using the main material also for the lining okay so we are also going to cut another two piece for the lining another two piece for the lining another two piece for the lining and another two piece for the lining so basically we are cutting four four piece of each of this pattern okay that will serve as the lining and as the main bodies then for the cage art, we are only going to cut two pieces because we are not putting line on this. I'm just going to weave the edge, okay? So I'm just going to cut two pieces that will be on the left and right side. Okay, guys, I will cut it and I will come back to show you guys what next. So guys, I have cut out my pattern just like the way I told you guys. I've cut out four, four pieces for each of this pattern, which we serve as the lining and as the main bodies and the cage as i've also cut it out i added half inch seam allowance on this straight side because i will be that is the part i will be joining on our under bust corset and this side i just added um 0.375 seam allowance because by the time i weave this edge it's going to shorten my fabric so that is the reason why i add this seam allowance so you should go ahead and do the same thing for yours so guys did you see how i set this pattern so ensure you set your own like this so that you don't run into making mistakes and you also ensure you notch the upper area so that you won't go and turn it you know you go and turn it turn the way that is on the upper side and join it to the downside of the other one so you ensure you also mark the back of your fabric if you are using this type of fabric i'm using yeah so i'll go ahead and pin it right side facing each other okay i'll pin it right side facing each other like you see me doing now okay so i'll pin the front right side facing each other i will also do the same thing for the back okay so just go ahead and do your own carefully pin it carefully before you go and sew it okay yeah guys you can see so guys you can see how this is looking after pinning it down so this way i pin it down i'm going to go ahead to sew it down by that half inch i added so you can see the way i pin all this down you should pull down and do the same thing for your so that while sewing you sew freely so i'll go and sew it down i will i will open up the seam lines press it down and i'll be back to show you guys what's next so guys i have gone to my sewing machine and i have joined it and after joining it i have pressed the seam open okay so you can see how beautiful and flat it is so the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to join it side by side so i'm going to get the back and i will join it side by side I will do the same thing for the one which we serve as the lining. So I will going to pin it side by side. So to go ahead and do the same thing for your own. So when I pin it, I'm going to 
sew it with that one in seam allowance I added but if you want this to really snatch you since it's going to have an eyelet and a rope you can take more than one inch okay so I'll do that and I will also press that side open and I will be back to show you guys what next so guys after joining it side by side this is what I get you can see how beautiful it is so this is how it looks so the next thing we are going to do is to create a boning casing where we are going to put our boning so the boning I'm using is the tiniest boning this is 0.3 inches width okay so at least it's going to enter this bias that I'm going to use to create a casing so what you are going to do basically is that you are going to this bias is I'm going to place it at each seam line okay so I'm going to place it on top of each seam line you see these seam lines so basically where every place that has joining so that is where I'm going to place this bias so I'm going to place it on top like this and I'll go to my sewing machine and I'll sew it down on each side making sure that I'm going to leave the opening that will be enough for this boning to enter so I'm going to sew it down on each seam line only on the main bodies okay you don't need boning on both the main bodies and the line so i'm going to show this only on the main bodies okay so i'll go ahead and sew it on each seam line like i told you guys sew it side by side so that after we sew it we are going to insert our boning so i'll go ahead and do that and i'll show you guys how we are the next thing we are going to do so guys i have gone ahead to join the bias place the bias on the seam lines like i showed you so anywhere you have joining that is where you are going to place this bias and i've done so so the next thing i'm going to do now is to get the lining and i will turn it so before fixing my boning to this i'm going to turn the upper area okay so i'm going to turn the upper area before fixing my boning so I'll go ahead and do it now. So I'm going to join the lining and the main bodies right side facing each other like this. So I'm going to pin it up. Then I'll go to my sewing machine. I will turn the upper area. So guys, I have sewn it all the way round like you are seeing. So I'll go ahead and notch it and I'll turn it so that we will put our bone in. Guys, I have turned this and this is how beautiful it's looking already. So the first place we are going to put this bone is here. Okay, so watch how I'm going to put this bone in. So I'm going to place it like this, but it's going to be from the inside. Okay. Going to place it like this. I'll cut exactly the amount of boning that will be enough, then I'll place it like that from the inside. So, watch carefully. I have cut out the amount of boning that will be enough to go it round like this. So, I'm going to place it from the inside, okay? So, once you place it from the inside, you are going to shift it to the edge then you are going to sew very close to it okay so as you are sewing you are pushing it inside like I'm doing you are pushing it inside and you are sewing very very close to it okay so you carefully do it and yeah I'll go and do it and I'll be back to show you guys the results so guys i have joined this one like i showed you guys and this is the result so i'll go ahead and do the same thing okay just go ahead and measure exactly what you are going to fix here like i'm doing and you cut it out so you fix it that way i showed you so when you are sewing sew it very close to it so that this boning will not move 
around. Okay, I'll do that and I'll be back to show you guys what next. So guys, I have joined the burning and you can see how beautiful it's looking. Go ahead and do the same thing for your own. So we go ahead and fix the burning like this. Okay, just get your burning and you fix it on that on that casing. Okay, that casing you, you made with our bias. Just fix it like this. So you fix it like I'm doing. So you are not going, the boning is not going to reach here because you know we are still going to turn the hem. So you make the boning to stop at least one inch before the hem. One inch or 0 0.75. I'm going to make my own my own boning to stop 0 0.75 before the hem. So I'll go ahead and fix this boning on each casing I made with this bias. So you can see I fix my boning very well and the boning is entering without any interruption so i'll fix this boning and i will be back to show you guys what next so guys i have fixed the boning just like i told you guys you can use a candle light to burn the edge of the boning before fixing it so that it won't poke you but you can decide to leave it for me i don't always have enough time to do that so you can choose either ways so what i'm going to do next is that i'm going to flip it over then I will turn, I will turn the hem, okay? So I'm going to flip it over like this. I will turn the side and I will turn it downwards. So I'm going to leave at least four inches space where, where I'm going to turn everything out. So I will do that and I will show you guys what next. So guys, I have sewn this and you see how stubborn it's looking. <laughs> Just find your way around it and cover up. So look at this small space I left. This is where I'm going to bring it all out. So I'll do that and I'll show you guys what next. I have turned this out and the next thing I'm going to do is to go and give it a good press. After that, I'm going to put a bone in here. So I'm just going to cut out exactly this side. Then I will, from this opening, I'm going to put a bone in inside here. So I've put one inside here i'll go to my sewing machine and i'll sew it just like i did for this cup side i'll do it for this side because we are going to fix an eyelet at the center so that it can give it that structure okay so guys i have given this a good press and this is how beautiful it looks the next thing i'm going to do is to that opening where we turn this out i'm going to folding half inch on both sides and i'll go and top stitch so after that the next thing i'm going to do is to fix an eyelet okay there's a tutorial i made on how to fix a beautiful eyelet so you should go and wash it so that you know how to do your own okay all right guys thank you for watching to the end if you've not subscribed to my channel at this point what are you waiting for subscribe to my channel so that you keep on getting notification on interesting videos that you will learn new new things all right guys thank you very much guys i will see you in the next one all right bye